So it's good with my people. I was uh, reading this book right here, The Way of the Superior Man, and I came across a page that really opened me up. And I was like, man, you know, this really opened me and I wanted to share it with y'all. So I was thinking, you know, maybe if I did that, I'll be able to open up some more people and we'll be able to grow together, you know what I mean? So, again, the book is The Way of the Superior Man. I don't know if I said it before already, but I forgot. But let me, uh, let me just read to you the page that uh, had me thinking the way that I'm thinking right now. So it says, uh, just real quick, just bear with me, bear with me, y'all. Your attention span is longer than what they've been saying it is, so don't <laughs> listen to them, all right? Listen to this. It says, a fearful man who knows he is fearful is far more trustable than a fearful man who isn't aware of his fear. And a fearful man who still leans into his fear, living at his edge and putting his gift out from there is more trustworthy and more inspirational than a fearful man who hangs back in the comfort zone, unwilling to even experience his fear on a day-to-day -day level. A free man is free to acknowledge his fears without hiding them or hiding from them. Live with your lips pressed against your fears, kissing your fears, neither pulling back nor aggressively aggressively violating them. So, man, that was, that was deep to me because it had me thinking about my fear. And um, like I was talking to my brother Jimmy, um, you know, I'm fearful of really stepping out of my comfort zone in my city and you know doing what i have to do for myself and doing what i know i can do for myself so um like like i was telling him i want to leave sacramento and go to somewhere where it's more it's more live you know what i mean like la is more live san francisco is more live just somewhere where the business is just more booming like, you know, Sacramento is a little slow out here on the music hype or things are too, you know, exclusive for me. So I want to be able to go, you know, somewhere and just get it in. Hit up a street show, hit up uh, Venice Beach, hit up, you know, the, the, the what is what is the place called in San The pier, oh, you know, just anywhere where it's moving at. Not bad, let me just, oh, yeah, yeah for just a good. second. Uh, so I want to go out there and do that, but I'm fearful because like that will take, you know, my lady having to stay home and watch the kids and not work. So that means I will have to be out really making money to pay for, you know, everything, you know, not that we won't be splitting things no more. It's like, you know, but she has her business. She's getting her business working up, so she'll definitely bring in some money. But, you know, I will have to take over majority of everything and you know use my craft and my time wisely and that takes a lot of discipline because even the things that i'm doing now it takes a lot of discipline out of me and it takes a lot of you know courage and all that stuff so it's like man to really do that yeah, is next the, level for me try to go and pick up those uh those cds now yes sir uh, so you know that's just me and my fears and some of the things that uh um, I'm not living at my full edge all the way, you know, I'm still kind of back here. This, if this is the edge of my life and my fears, you know, I'm kind of back here still, you know, I'm not, I haven't even stepped on the edge yet and just was like really doing everything I needed to do. So, man, I, I, I encourage you guys to live at your edge as much as possible every single day, you know, push yourself, do things that you're fearful of each day. You know, try something new, do something that you really wanna do. Just take an hour of your day to do that and, you know, continue to grow in your passion and your love and in your life. All right, Sean.